Yo, Lazy's Life Season 2, Episode 3 underway. I'm really, really, really excited for this episode. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the brand new song that just dropped today. It's called Watch Me. I want to show you how I made the song because it's actually a really interesting process. I had to do a lot of different versions of it, mix it, blah, 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 all that stuff. I'm going to take you into the computer, show you guys how I made this song. I'm super excited. Then I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the song and then uh, you'll have the chance to actually go to your preferred streaming platform and go listen to it so without further ado Lizzie's life season two episode three underway let's get it all right so i'm gonna break down for you how i made my new single watch me i'm very 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 proud of this song it's one of my favorite songs that i've ever made i'm gonna show you how i did it first thing we have we start with a guitar loop shout out to my boy rude note rude note is a producer that i linked up with on instagram i just saw this guy playing just really great stuff on the guitar and I was like bro you're really good at it and I think I'd said do you want to collab or something like that and he was like yeah I'm a, I'll send you a bunch of guitar loops meaning like he played some guitar riffs and just like recorded it he sent me like 30 or something I don't know and they were all fire this is how we started the beat I heard this and I was like yeah <laughs> sounds fire yep next piano right you hear those piano chords? I played those. Then I have another piano. This melody is kind of the theme. Dun, 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 dun. You can really hear this a bunch of times throughout the song. This was really one of the main themes. So all together. Yeah, you're already, I'm already like, yes sir, I can, I can feel this, you know what I mean? This next piece of the melody nuts this 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 took it to the next level and i'm gonna solo it this was a vocal sample that i got from arcade dude this hits my heart like this kind of stuff like i love this stuff all together the melodies this is what we've got dude bro i'm, I'm not even gonna lie i might <laughs> I might literally, like, I already released the song Watch Me, but I might literally do something where I just have this play for like a minute and a half or two minutes and just rap over this and do like an extended remix of Watch Me. Oh my God, I could do that and I will do that. Well, we'll see. So that's all the melodies. I want to also solo out the drums. Really, really, really happy with how we did the drums. We, I did the drums. Nobody else did them. My ceiling and my door is vibrating. Mm. Like you can feel the vibe, right? More of like a natural sounding snare and hi-hat. Little open hat. I'm gonna show you also the bass. The bass, I really am happy. The bass was a lot. So I actually struggled a lot with this bass because like mixing it, it's actually two different um, basses. So it's an 808, which for those of you who don't know what an 808 is, it's, it's a type of more like a modern hip hop bass. It's kind of a cross between a kick drum and a and a and, and a bass and it's not it doesn't sound like a natural guitar bass, but I mixed that with a natural sounding guitar bass and put them together all together with the drums. You got to you can bump to it. With all the melodies, this is what we got. Yes. Yeah, right. I want to break down for you the, the vocals. So first part of the hook is just a very simple rap hook with a lot of Watch me. layers. Watch me grow. Always active. Never keep it on the low. I'm right, pretty simple. Mixed it with some reverb and stuff. The singing is where I want to break down the vocals for you because this is where I got, I guess you could say creative. Doing the most. I started doing some crazy stuff. So we got some regular vocal. Well, actually, no. The first vocals I recorded were these like breathy ones. Watch me. You could watch me grow. Those were the first ones I recorded. We got some regular sounding ones. Watch me. Right. You could watch me grow. Pretty standard. W Mix those with the breathy ones. Watch me. You can watch me go. So I'm really into vocal layers. Like, I, you gotta be, right? Well, you don't have to be, but I, I am. And it's because I, I learned that from my boy. I think Corey Wallace was really the first. Was he the first one to put me onto that? 
I don't know if he was the first. Yeah, he was actually. Corey Wallace was really the first one who put me on to like, yo, you need to like sing your chorus, but then like sing it again and then sing it again and then sing it again and then sing it again and pan them all over the place. And I'm like, for real? And we did it. And I was like, oh, wow, there's so much depth to the vocals. You know, it surrounds your ears. That's what you want. So I'm really into like, not just repeating it five times the same way. It's like repeat it and then try to say it differently. The next one's watch me. saying it a little differently. You go watch me grow. Yep. So it's kind of a harmony. Watch me. You go watch me grow. So all together. Watch me. You go watch me grow. Watch me. I want there to be vibration and depth. You go watch me grow. Mixing this was not easy for me. I got really picky, really, really, really picky. Cause I was like, I want these all to sound like they're there. I want them to sound crispy. I want them to sound like really there. But how do I balance them all? The struggles of mixing. Okay, I also threw in some ad-libs, some like singing, I don't even know if you call them singing ad-libs or harmonies. I don't know all the proper terms. Just something as like a call and response kind of a deal. You can watch me grow. Watch me grow. Watch me. Hear it. You can watch me grow. Watch me grow. Yeah, yeah. Writing a hook is really, really important. I, I mean, some people are like, oh, the chorus is the most important part. I don't know about all of that. You, it's a very, there's a very strong argument for it. In fact, like most people consider the hook the most important. If you come from hip hop though, you know that verses are important, the bars are important, your lyrics, the meaning, the message, how you sound, like the verses are important too. So that's why coming from like a background of like growing up on hip hop, I'm not so eager to say the hook is the most important. However, I value the hook a lot. And writing a hook is not easy because sometimes I start to overthink things. Sometimes I'm like doing some stuff and I'm like, wait, this sounds corny or I've done this before. To come up with a great hook is, is it's big when you can do it. So for this, I, I have a hook where I start rapping. Watch me, watch me first, grow. and then I transition never keep it to on singing. The low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown. Watch me, you can watch me go. It's not easy to come up with like, I don't know. I don't even remember exactly how I came up with that hook. I just remember it was not super easy. Like it was, it was. It might have just flown right out, but like just to hit like, like just to hit like this is so important. Like I make a lot of songs, a lot. Doing the most. Like I'll put songs out and I'm like, this is a good song and I'll label my songs good. But then sometimes I, I make a song and I'm like, wow, I really like this. I have heard this exact song a lot, like a lot. I've went through many different versions of the song. I, I act, there was so much that went into this song. Like this song used to have a bridge. Like if you go listen to this song, you'll hear it's just like a verse, chorus, verse, chorus. There's no bridge. But I had a bridge on this song, and I mixed that version of the song with the bridge like ten times, probably probably more than that. And I sat on it for a long time, like a few months, which I don't usually do. But I was on this whole wave of like I'm sitting on music, I'm like not putting music out and whatever. And it just hit me, like after listening to it like a lot of times, it hit me, I go, I need to delete this bridge. Took the bridge out, mixed it all again like 20 times, like 20 times, literally. And I'm not saying you have to always do that, but that's what happened. And, and then I came up with this version of the song. The point is I've heard this song a lot and I'm still not tired of it, which is super rare for me to not be tired of my music after mixing it, but I love this song. With everything together, watch me. Watch me grow, always active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown. Watch me, you can watch me go. Yep, and then at the end, the last hook, I took that guitar that we talked about earlier and reversed it. <laughs> it's tight. And then um, I just took the breathy, I think I just did the breathy hooks. Watch me. Yep. You can watch me go. I always like to have hooks like watch this at the end to break it down, you know what I mean? You can watch me then, go. Watch me. Uh, watch me. Watch me grow. And we bring the full hook always back in. Active, never keep it on the low. I'm trying to eat it with my 
bros, but I might eat alone. Only focused on the present, cause the future I know. That's just the drum. Watch me. Little breakdown, no you bass. Watch me go. Yeah, so that that's how I made this song. Watch me, my brand new single. Um, I appreciate you so much for watching. Click below in the description. Go stream that song, man. Go listen to the song. I don't even care if you subscribe, like, don't even do it. Go listen to the song. Go listen to the song on your preferred streaming platform. Let me know what you think of it. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, all right? Thank you so much for watching another episode of Lizzie's Life. I appreciate you, and I'm going to talk to you next time. Peace! Tell you about my life, I keep it oh so honest. Show up every day for you, that's what I promise. It's getting way more difficult to act too modest. They love and then they hate when you become the hottest.